Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a demonstration showing how heat affects water molecules and we're going to be using Scratch to create this demonstration and hey if you're new to coding or you need a refresher check out my learn to code videos on YouTube and I suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be uploading videos quite regularly. Anyways let's get started with today's activity so I'm at Scratch now I hit the create button and um, if a tutorial pops up exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today you can also say goodbye to the cat so I'll click the garbage can on the cat and um, I've already drawn my water molecule for today's lesson so I went down here to the sprites I clicked on the paintbrush I used the circle feature to make circles um, I used the paint bucket to fill it in with specific colors that I wanted and here is the molecule that I made today um, I'll show you right there so you'll notice that it's not well um, there's a like a light purple on the inside that's important to remember so you'll have to choose a color for the inside there's the nucleus I even put some electrons around it this time so um, that's a light purple on the inside so I'm gonna start coating this water molecule to start moving around and if it hits uh, the edge it's gonna bounce so of course green flag let me make this uh, a little bit bigger for you to see at home or at school wherever you happen to be working when the green flag is clicked I wanted to go to a random position somewhere on the page and I wanted to turn a random amount of degrees otherwise it's gonna look very uh, artificial or fake so turn not 15 degrees but a random amount of degrees so I'm gonna go to the operators and turn 1 to 360 degrees so there's that green flag go to random position uh, turn 1 to 350 uh, 360 degrees and then forever move five steps and if it's on the edge bounce so uh, move five steps if on edge bounce if on edge bounce way down here and also I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna put a little bit of a weight in there just a little bit so that it looks even more realistic weight 0 decimal 0 0.5 um, after every single movement it looks a bit better I think like that you don't have to add the weight but you can if you like and work on making it look even smoother so now instead of moving five steps I want to add a variable and the variable we're gonna add is called temperature and we're going to be able to control the temperature and see what happens to the molecule. So let's first of all go to variables. So variables right there. I'm going to make a variable. So I'm going to click on make a variable. And the variable name I'm going to use is temperature. Temperature. And it's for all sprites. So we'll leave it like that. Temperature. So there it is. Temperature zero. And so now instead of moving five steps, I want it to move temperature steps and right now it's zero so it's not going to move at all because we just told it to move zero steps temperature so I'm gonna set at the beginning of the game I'm gonna set temperature set my variable so I'm gonna click on that little triangle set temperature to five so we're gonna set the temperature to five and then it's gonna move five steps good so it's moving five steps at a time because that's what we set the variable temperature to. So I'm just going to pause there, let you catch up, make your, draw your water molecule, uh, make a variable called temperature, and then have the water molecule moving uh, at, at a random degrees at the beginning for temperature steps, and if it hits the edge, bounce. So I'm just going to pause and let you catch up before we move on to the next part. All right, so next part. Hey, you'll notice in my original game that I showed you at the beginning, you can see these molecules there, the water molecules, they're bouncing off each other. When they hit, they bounce off each other. And that's what happens with real water molecules. They will bounce off each other, especially in a liquid state. So look how we're going to code it so that you can make your molecules bounce off each other. So I'm just going to pause for a minute there. And um, I'm going to get a green flag. When the green flag is clicked, let's make it a bit smaller. When the green flag is clicked, forever, check to see if you're touching another molecule. So watch how I do that. Forever, if, 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 right there, if. Grab that. If touching, and the touching is a sense, so it's in a sensing one right there. So I'm going to go get touching, and I don't want to touch another sprite. What I want to do is touch color. That's why we made all the molecules like the same color on the inside for this project. Touching color. I'm just going to 
hold it right over there until it's white and now I'm going to let go it's going to pop right in there so green flag forever check to see if it's touching and I want to get the color inside so look how I do that I'm going to click on that and try and try to instead of trying to figure out that color I'm just going to go get a sample of that color that's a really easy way to do it so look I'm going to click on a sampling tool right there and I'm going to go get a sample of the purple on the inside right there click on it so now this purple is the same as that purple on the inside of my water molecule so forever if touching the color purple I'm gonna have a turn away um, uh, turn 150 or 160 or 170 or 180 I'm not sure what's the best one maybe you want to experiment with that so for now I'm gonna choose turn 170 degrees and then move away from any other molecule it touches move 10 steps and I know I only have one molecule right up there now, but I'm going to duplicate it a whole bunch of times instead of cloning today. Uh, it works better for our, our activity. But um, now if we have another one and they touch, the colors touch, they'll move away from each other. So let me just experiment. I'm going to duplicate this five times. Duplicate. 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 And one more time. Duplicate. Okay, so green flag. And I'm going to separate them. Green flag and go. If they hit each other, they should bounce off each other. They should turn 170 degrees and bounce. Perfect. They are. It looks like they're all bouncing off each other. Let me see. Come on. Nice. Do you see how they bounced off each other? Perfect. Great. So now that we've coded this properly, I'm going to continue to duplicate maybe 20 or 30 times. So two fingers on the touchpad, duplicate. Two fingers on the touchpad, duplicate. And I'm going to let you do that as well. And let, let me just test it one more time. Should be working. Dupli uh, bouncing off each other. Yes. Okay. So can you please... Uh, copy my code for getting stuck and remember I used a sampling tool right there to get a, a sample of the inside of the other molecules and when you have the first one coded perfectly when you have this done just right and everything's working well then duplicate it a whole bunch of times I've duplicated mine 10 times I might do another 5 or 10 but I'm going to pause for now and let you catch up and then we'll be chatting in a minute all right now the next part we're going to set it up so that we can control the temperature and you'll see on my screen here that if i hit the arrow button the temperature goes up and the molecules start moving faster which is what happens to molecules as you heat up the temperature um, and when it slows when the temperature goes down they start to slow down which is uh, a replica of what happens with real life molecules so I'm going to show you how to do that now so I'm in scratch here I'm just going to stop for a minute and I'm going to go to the very first sprite we're going to code the first sprite only okay and we're not going to code all of them for this part so I'm choosing the very first sprite and I'm going to get a green flag for this one so green flag now we're going to forever check to see if the arrow key is being pressed. So forever, forever, if arrow key is being pressed, if, if, if. Great. So forever, if the up arrow key, so I'm going to go to the sensing, um, up arrow key, up arrow key. Forever, if the up arrow key is being pressed, now we're going to change the temperature just a little bit. So I'm going to go back to a variable, change temperature, and we're going to if up arrow, we're going to make it go a little bit warmer, change temperature, but not by one, it's going to go too fast. So I'm going to go 0 0.1. So look, when the green flag is pressed, it's going to be checking to see if we're hitting the up arrow key. And if the up arrow key is being pressed, the temperature should go up zero decimal one and then all of the sprites will start moving a little bit faster because we've coded so that they're moving temperature steps okay um let me just test that ready green flag up arrow key yep it's going faster and faster and faster nice perfect now i'm going to code i'm just going to pause it to code it to start slowing down when the down arrow key is being pressed so uh, i got to get another green flag and you could have many many green flags uh green flag forever if if down arrow key is being pressed so i'm going to go to the sensing down arrow uh no not that one space key but i'm going to turn that into down arrow i'm going to hold it there until it's highlighted down arrow key forever if the down arrow key is being pressed 
back to variables. Change temperature by temperature um, negative. Whoops, negative zero decimal one. So it's going to get colder. So the up arrow key, it's going to get warmer. The down arrow key, it's going to get colder. So let me just test that already. Green flag. Okay, let's start to five. Perfect. Up arrow. Yep, it's getting warmer. Nice. Okay, and now I'm going to press the down arrow key and make it go a bit slower, a colder temperature. Great. Except I don't like that it goes into the negatives because this is not what happens when molecules go into the negative territory. Uh, when it gets uh, below zero, water molecules, as you know, freeze. So we're going to do one more thing here. Um, we're going to say that if the temperature is below zero, let's just leave it at zero. So watch how I do that. Um, green flag again. Forever. Uh, and now I'm going to get uh, an operating button. And we're going to get this one. Uh, is colder than zero. Colder. Right there. I know it says 50. I'm going to change that in a minute. If, 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 if. And I'm almost done, everybody. Thank you for your patience. Forever. If temperature, so I'm going to go get the temperature from variables. Look, I'm going to get that word temperature right there. If temperature is lower than zero, then set temperature back to zero. So it'll just stay at zero. Set temperature back to zero. So green flag goes to five. Of course, it gets warmer when I hit the up arrow. When it gets colder, see, look what happens when it gets to zero. It won't let me go below zero. And look, the water molecules freeze. They like they're sitting in one spot. So that's what happens to water molecules when the temperature equals zero. They move so slowly that we can't even tell. So there's the code for that. And I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so you can see all of that code. Uh, how to change the temperature when the up arrow key is pressed. How to change the temperature when the down arrow key is pressed. And of course, when temperature equals zero or lower it just stays at zero hey you could do one more thing if you want if the temperature gets above a hundred degrees uh, we know that the water molecules will turn into a gaseous state so you can make the water molecules hide after zero because they've moved off into a gas state so that would be for you to do. And if you want to put a title on, that'd be great. You could call it homogenous water mixture. And we've already got the temperature up there so people know what this project's all about. And I think that's the end of it. So I hope you enjoyed that one. You can experiment with uh, changing the temperature of the water molecules and see how the water molecules react. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that one. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next one, which I think you will like a lot. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.